You believe in witchcraft. Apparently, some people believed that what happened in Mombasa's Bamburi area two days ago was real. But leaked CCTV footage of the incident before and during the charade shows that the incident was stage managed. In fact, almost all the accomplices were at the scene minutes before the drama played out to ensure that all fell into place. NTV's Peter Wangangi uh, breaks down the ploy. 6.32 a.m. Wednesday, outside this hardware shop in Bamburi, Mombasa. This is where it all played out. The plotters had no idea there was a CCTV camera capturing every single move they made. This man in a yellow shirt and a hat arrives on a border border on the other side of the road, together with another man in black. He has since been identified as Ronald Ganga, one of the people who claimed to be medicine men. The other man would later on strip naked. At the same time, the vehicle at the center of it all drives in, and a few minutes later, the driver takes off, never to be seen again. Ronald then goes to the vehicle, a bag in hand, makes a call, then opens and gets in. But before that, he removes some cash from his pocket to pay the border border that brought them. A few minutes later, he unlocks the door and leaves. This time, he leaves without the bag, which is believed to have contained a snake, which would later be used in the incident. He then makes a call, and a person in a blue coat appears. The young man would later identify himself as Yasin Lokorobe, a medicine man from Uganda. The two live together. 6.35 a.m. The man who had gone to pay for a boda boda appears. He unlocks the vehicle's door. At the same time, Ronald walks by, maybe to ensure all is well, and then the two live together. 6.37 a.m. A shirtless man appears on the front passenger door. Notice he is walking soberly. He then starts washing his body with dirty water nearby. Another person then appears from the driver's side, shirtless as well, and starts walking around the vehicle. 6.39 a.m. His colleague opens the back left door and then skillfully picks up a live adult forest cobra snake and then the drama begins. He staggers around, joins his colleague in washing themselves dirty, all the while playing with the reptile. But this does not pull in the crowd ten minutes later, so they take it to the other level. 6.41 a.m. One of them strips naked, looking sideways to see if anyone is watching. Meanwhile, his friend is now acting like a madman, picking up litter and putting it in a bag. Two minutes later, he joins his colleague in stripping naked. Their trick pulled off. People started trickling in, some taking videos. Then social media and word of mouth did the rest. The drama went on for close to an hour when the so-called witch doctors arrived apparently to use their charm to bring the two men back to normal. Police also arrived and towed the vehicle to Bamburi police station. No one has claimed ownership of the vehicle to date. Police are using this video as part of the investigations and are among other things seeking to establish whether this is part of a cartel that operates in the western part of Kenya. But even before police came in, some details were not adding up. Namba tueleze jina lako na kumetokea nini? Mi naitwa Lucy Muli. The lady who claimed to have hired the vehicle was later identified as Elizabeth Sarah Wetaba, but she gave NTV a different name, Lucy Muli. Naomba jamani. Sijai kwa mtu kama hii mimi maisha ni mwangu. Sijawahi Acha na kugopa. Na huyo daktari ndani. Daktari ni daktari wangu. Namjua na kama mnataka kumjua nitawapatia wananchi. Hizi ni miti ambao mnaona hapa. Hizi ni dawa za kienyeji ambao tunatumia. Kuna mtu ameniuliza swali hii kipao ulitoa wapi? Hii kipawa mimi niliwanza kuwa udogoni dadangu na mamangu tuliwazua tulizaliwa watoto wawili. Babu wetu alikuwa anaitwa Zilinyamiti. It's unbelievable some of the high that some people can go all in the name of making money.
And now all the suspects will be in court on the 13th of September. Peter Mongangi, NTV, Mombasa.